Hello guys, welcome back to the Minecraft server for another Let's Play. And guess where I'm at? So we are going to clean this up, we are going to finish things off here. At least as far as getting the actual farm in. So I'm going to jump down here in just a minute. I'm going to clean up the walls over there. I've got a little bit of glass. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I got a lot of glass. Wow, I forgot about all that. I've got some lava for the spawner. Um, for the farm, or not the spawner, for the farm that I'm going to be constructing here in just a few minutes. And I'm going to do all that off camera just because I'm going to follow a YouTube guide. That being said, I am going to make some custom changes to it. I'll talk to you guys about after I get it built. Um, and then we will work on the floor together. I'm going to try some stuff out and we will chat in just a second. So let me go ahead and get this rolling for myself. And I will catch back with you guys in just one minute. All right, guys, it is officially done. Let me look. Oh my goodness. So let me get a little bit of a distance here, let you guys see what we have going on. It's just a basic water farm that's been running. I'm going to do something a little extra special with this. Now, there's two things that I want to do here. First of all, I've thrown out all the fish that were in there because I want to show you what's actually in there. I've done something a little bit special. So they've got that design going on there. I've actually got it going rotating around so that it's, it will never back up. We've got four chests up in there. We're going to be doing some more stuff. We're going to be doing some item filtering. I don't care about these fish, so I'm going to get rid of the fish. Um, and they're probably just going to go into like lava or something. And then... We're going to actually put a little bit of a design around this, but I'm not going to do that this episode. We're going to do that in the next episode, so I'm going to wait for that. That being said, this design is going to have a base to it, and then we're going to have the actual surrounding here. Now, this entire area is going to be dedicated to two things. First to the farm, and then second to an open shop area. So I want this to be where all the commerce is and everything outside of here. You can have like farms and stuff, but I want this to be kind of the the source for anything commercial. So I think that would be fun, but I want it to be open. I want just to be one big thing. I had I talked to the guys as far as a couple of things that we could do with this. I could have enclosed this whole place, made a whole bunch of different rooms in here, and then they would have sprouted off. But we're going to leave it very open. It's going to be almost kind of intimidating to see this big design here. But yeah. We literally have guardians dying as we speak. So this is where we're at right now, guys. I mean, holy smokes. I I don't even know what to do with all this. It's literally still coming in. The fish, you guys can just die. I don't care about you. But that being said, what I'm thinking is we will have this available. It'll just be sitting here. And then we'll have other shops outside of here just to kind of show things off. We're starting to get into the the realm of Minecraft with this server where things aren't necessarily going to be... Wait, we got crafting table over here. I put that there on purpose. We're getting to the point where some of the shops are going to be less purposeful and more creative. And I think that the city of Atlantis can be one, of the, one such shop where it's going to be fun just to have something creative so i'm not planning on actually making anything productive here besides this farm um, the rest of the shops will just be a lot of interesting cool designs all right let's figure out this that that and that and we'll do those nope there we go excellent so i'm going to craft a bunch more of these obviously i'll do it off camera um, and then we are going to get to work on this design down here. Obviously, you see things are spawning, so it'd be good to have a lot of lighting. Got to fix some stuff over there. But we're literally just going to use this as the layer to build on. So the floor is going to be put on this. And that's our goal for today is to get a great design for the floor. We might not get the whole thing done. I want to at least get a corner. And what we're going to do is this corner will match this corner, will match that corner, which will match that corner. But then what's built on it will probably be a little bit different. What it will be, I don't 100% know because I'm not going to be designing a lot of this. I'm going to have the guys do a lot of designing. But we will see. Anyways, I will be right back. Alright guys, so here we go. We've got all of these blocks laid down. The lighting is 
perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean there's not a block that is seven or less. And I've already started on the design. Here's a view of it down here. I'm actually going to make this, at least right here, an entrance as well as over there. I'm not sure what I want to do on the sides. I don't think I'm going to make an entrance on the sides because I don't necessarily want this thing to be symmetrical. Um, but I do want it to be a good design. So I'm going to replicate this over here. Um, we're going to go, what, one, two, three, four, five blocks in, and then we'll, I guess, four blocks in, and then we'll start to spray out. Um, but I'll, so I'll duplicate that over here. And then the corners are going to be something special, and the sides, I think, are going to be something special as well. I have two ideas I want to do, which I'll craft in just a little bit. So I'm basically doing build around it like this. I don't know why you guys are still here. So just build around, how many is that? Three, four, excellent. And then fill in the gaps with these. Keep going. And this is a design, I, I'll be honest guys, I researched probably for four hours on this design before I even got going with this because I want this floor to look really, really good. And there is nothing. I am not a great builder. I'm not a great designer. Oops, one, two, three, four. So we actually start branching out here. Um, so I'm not a great designer, but there was nothing. So I'm not sure. I mean, I really like this design and I, have done a lot of stuff in the creative world just to get this design so I think this will work really well but I'm just surprised I, I go to a lot of different places um, YouTube or forums just to kind of see what people are putting out there nothing daily squat I, I mean I saw designs but they were not good at all um, at least as far as the floor plan now there are really good designs in trying to make buildings, but that's not what we're doing today. A lot of people would just go like with these really intricate designs. I don't think they would look very good. All right, so there's that. So we got one over here, we got one over there. I think what I'm gonna do over here is actually lower these and make a pond over here. And I'll probably increase the frequency of these because there's gonna be water over top of this. Um, so there'll actually be one every two or maybe just a whole row of them or an outline of it. Um, but I'm just gonna do a little pond over here and I'm going to use this quartz. So this is actually gonna fan out into a circle. There's gonna be a big structure in the center that we'll do off or on, on camera next episode, next let's play. But, let's see, if we come two more, and then two, oops, I'm kind of freestyling this part, guys, so bear with me, and then two there, it's really hard to make curves, so I found if you do a two, one, two, that really helps, so two, one, two. And again, we'll do this. All of this inside is probably gonna have that as lighting. So we'll do this. Get some more of that going. Yeah, like how this is looking. Mm. Okay. Nope. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I match this because I'm not going to, I'm going to try to leave a circle here in the middle just because we'll take care of that next episode. There's no reason to, I feel like I'll just create it only to break it up later, which just seems kind of silly. All right, so there's that. I'm going to actually try to finish this ring around, but also kind of I'm, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do over there, but I do know I want to put the pool in over here. So I'm going to start getting this pool ready, 
I don't have the water on me, so I gotta go get two buckets of water, and then I will jump right back, guys. Give me one sec. So there it is, guys. Everything you want to see. Isn't it wonderful? Just kidding. We're gonna go see it. I want to show you guys this view all the way out here, because this is what people are gonna see when they come in. Obviously, there's the structure I had just finished telling you I was gonna build, but I added grass. I figured that was a nice little improvement. So there's a couple things I want to show you. First of all, um, I had to fix this. This took a really long time. I spent more time than I probably should have here. But I even this out, you'll notice that that does not match up here. That's because I've been tweaking this side. I will eventually make it match all the way around. And then we got this over here. We added a bunch of grass. I wonder what you guys think about. Let me tell you, first of all, that I've been waiting here an hour. Not all the grass blocks are still filled in. So this has taken quite a bit of time to get to this point. If you hate it, if it's really not something that we think will work, I'll probably just put stone slabs in there or something like that. So be careful with what you decide because I'm not sure 100% what I want to do. That being said, let me tell you the vision of it um, as we go along. Finally, we have our little Colosseum uh, Roman ivory kind of thing, marble I guess it was, um, set up here, made out of quartz. You'll notice these are a little bit cockeyed because I have to put these under there because the issue here is um, stuff was spawning up here if I just had this all the way around with half slabs things would spawn over here so it really wasn't working I couldn't pull that off that being said my I guess the one solution is I could have these as stairs here I didn't really want to do that I wanted it just to be as thin as possible um, I could go the other route if I really needed to but I really do like this as it is, and so I figured this was a good solution. I did try snow, because you can stack snow and it would be much less visible. Um, it wouldn't be so protrudent here, such sharp corners, but snow melts on sea lanterns. Then I tried glass, these are half slabs, it didn't look good. So this is really the best option if we do go this route. And then you come down here, we got the sea lanterns. This is a nice little aqueduct type of a pool. I was thinking about maybe putting a water feature back there, I'm not sure. I do like these hedges here. This will probably be something that, actually we can put that in right now. Something that will feature all the way around. Let's see how this looks. I'm doing this on camera. It's always good to make sure you build on camera because then people can see your flaws. So it's almost like a little bit of a walled off section. That being said, I wanted to make sure this was beautiful and kind of showed the elegance of the process but it's not gonna take the place of what's gonna be here. This is the main feature of, oh my goodness, what in the world did he just build um, that we'll add to and design here in next episode. But this is really what I wanted to go for. So I really like that design. I was thinking about putting something else over there. Here's my thought, and this is where it all ties in together of why grass, is I want this to be a shopping area. Hello, slime. I want this to be a shopping area for people to come in and then if you go that way we'll go to another part of Atlanta so probably be a bunch of houses over there if you come this way there will be more uh, houses that way and it might fork that way or that way I'm going to kind of let it be just up to the guys as they build this place to let them decide what that design is going to look like and then over here I was thinking let's just do a bunch of shops now doesn't mean we can't have a trail that leads to like a capital building or I don't know something else that would maybe be appropriate too but I like that there's limited access I definitely don't want four tunnels coming out of this place two three at most we just have to figure if we're not going to do more shops maybe it's just going to be a path and nothing else out that way so I'll decide we'll see how it goes but this over here that over there and that over there is just going to be grass now it's not going to just be grass I'm okay with putting trees in. I don't think I'm going to like these, but these were what I had on hand. Because it's just so dark. Hmm. I'll leave it for now. Just to kind of see. We'll go up top here in just a little bit. Just to see what it's like. I'm almost also nervous because I might just plant these in the middle here so that they get maximum sun. Or maximum light so nothing spawns. Like, we'll do this one here right in the middle. Come on, there we go. Whoa, much bigger. Okay, 
and then one back here though that being said this one will probably have a low light level what's going on wonder what the light level is right here eight seven mm, seven right here i guess we could always just do this we could do that so we got nine nine give him a little wink okay that works i like that and so it just gives a little diversity now that being said these are not permanently here in fact let's go ahead and put um set up your own outdoor shops in the grass so i want people just to come in here have their shops for sale we are going to have a central shop here um, I, I think i told you guys at the beginning of this episode we're going to build something up we're going to make sure that the whatever is up here that i'm going to design next will be shown off but it's going to be a gradual climb up and then it's going to connect to that and then we're going to have something up there that's going to be built and there's probably actually going to be right here an access point because i don't i want there to be like a come grab your blocks i'm going to make them for sale initially they'll probably be a huge layout for sea lanterns that are already for sale if you want to get them but then these will be sitting there for people if they want to sit here and craft all day too so depending on how they want to do it yeah, I really, really like this. I almost, I'm not sure how to do that. Maybe I'll just set it up that if you craft your own blocks, just pay that way. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna add a filter into this next. We're gonna make the design way up there. I'm probably going to wait to fully add all the grass until the end of the next episode. I will already have all of this finished off. As I think about it more and more, I think I'm gonna add this and then have a road just going out there that being said, we found at the beginning of the episode, well, it's not too bad. We're going to have to have it a little bit off center. So we'll kind of set it up. Apparently people are shooting fireworks off even though it's not 4th of July. So I'm going to have to figure out, there is a piece of dirt in there. That's going to drive me nuts. I'm going to fix that. So I got to fix that. Man, I think it's just going to have to be off center. So if we do it off center, let's just do it really off center. Maybe it'll come out here and then the road will just swing back around. I like that idea the most. So yeah, I'll show you guys what this is next time. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you guys.